Hey, Nick Safoni here from realestateinvestoronline.com. Thanks so much for joining me. Today I want to talk about a topic that I really don't think is talked about enough in the real estate investing industry is branding your real estate investing company. You know, we're on the phone, we have websites, we have business cards, we go visit people in their homes, and not enough people actually go out of their way to brand their company. Now when I say branding your company, what do I mean? I'm not talking about buying a blimp and flying it over the US Open or buying a commercial on the Super Bowl like some of these major corporations do. But in a sense, that's what I'm talking about doing just on a smaller scale, maybe a local scale, um, just a brand. So what, what's a brand? The way I like to look at it, it's like something that makes people think, oh yeah, those guys. Something that people see that makes them remember you. It's your reputation. It's how professional you look. So although you may be running a really small real estate investing company, you could look a lot bigger. You can make yourself look a lot more a lot, a lot more like the nationwide guys or, or just a lot more professional. So what entitles building a brand? Well, simply, and to keep it as inexpensive as, as possible, first off, you should have a logo. Now, most companies, I'm sure you've seen different logos, the Federal Express logo and the Coca-Cola and the little Nike swoosh logo. Um, a logo can be a graphic, something as simple as your initials, maybe written a certain way or bent a certain way or, 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 or an abbreviation for your company, or it can just be your company name uh, written maybe in different colors. It can be your web address, you know, your, your www, your URL address. But you can go get a really sharp logo made a few different places really inexpensively. One of them is if, if you know any kids, if you have any kids, or you live close to a college, you can get a graphic design student really inexpensively to create a logo for you. And some of them are really top notch. You can get those made for 10 or 15 bucks, or maybe just a friend of your kids, or maybe your son or daughter, or maybe you can do it yourself. Go buy Photoshop or a graphics program, and you can make a logo on your own. Another place to get them really inexpensive, and you'd be surprised how cheap, is Fiverr. www.fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R. And you can get almost anything for Fiverr. I mean, you can get somebody to write your name in the snow. You can get people to make your face look like a cartoon. You can get people to post on social networks. You can get all kinds of things done at Fiverr.com. If you haven't been there, go check it out. F-I-V-E-R-R.com. But it's a great place for logos. Just go to Fiverr, search logo, and you'll find people who will make some pretty darn nice logos for you or your company for five bucks, because everything at Fiverr is five bucks. Another site is called 99designs, 99designs.com, 99designs.com. And it's a place where you describe your logo. Here's what I want it to look like. Uh, or you can even say, I just like these colors. It's a real estate company. You can be very generic and let people throw out ideas. But designers from all over the country and all over the world, I should say, you, you tell them, I, I want to spend 100 bucks for my logo or I want to spend 50 bucks for my logo. Obviously, the more you'll spend, the more submissions you'll get. But they read your description and they make logos for you. And you, you go there every couple hours, there's more logos. And you set a time, like the auction's open or, or the, you know it's open for seven days. And then you get an email telling you there's a new logo for your company and you could really get some top-notch stuff. Some of the guys that, that work at 99designs and they're just independent people from all over the world. But for a cheap price, and the cool thing is you could have them edit it. You look at what they started with and you say, well, I like that, but can you change this to pink? Or can you make this a little bit bigger? Or could you add this or take away that? And they edit it for you. It's a great place to get a logo made very inexpensively. A, a, a pointer, when you're getting a logo made for your business, it, it might look great bigger, but make sure whatever you get, whatever your logo is, that you can shrink it down really itty bitty and still see what it is. I've seen some great logos, but when people hand it to me on a business card, you really can't tell what it is. So make sure whatever the logo is, you can shrink it down small to put on a business card or a letterhead and you can still tell what it is. So where are you gonna put your logo? You're gonna put it on your business cards. You're gonna put it on your websites. If you have a magnetic sign on your car, you might stick it on the, bag that, on the magnetic sign on the side of your car. If you have banners made, um, you can put it there. A great place to put logos is on a shirt. You know, when we go out to visit a client, we go out to visit a seller or show houses to a buyer, 
we have our logo on our shirts and it, I feel it makes us look a lot more professional. It just makes us look more organized. It gives that big company feel and I'll kind of come in a little bit closer here. You'll see we've got, our, I don't know which way to turn. We've got our logo here, the little smiling man logo. I had that made at 99 designs. I think I paid a hundred bucks for it. Um, but we've got our, our website, oneeasyhome, oneeasysale.com on the logo. And I get these shirts made, what's the address? Queensboro.com, www.queensboro.com is where I have these made. And these shirts are so inexpensive. Uh, you, you upload the logo, you pick out your style design, and they always have specials, some deals where you can get a special price on the logo, and it's really, I think I paid 12 bucks for this one. Um, and I'm not doing a strip tease, but let me show you. You can get, this is my winter shirt. It's got the long sleeves. <laughs> And then I've got my summer shirt here. This is the one I wear in the warmer, in the warmer weather. Let me fix my collar there. Um, but it's, again, it's the same shirt from the same place. Not the same shirt, but it's got the same logo on it. And you could really take it a step further. No, I'm not getting naked, so don't get scared. Or don't get excited, I should say. But you could even have the same logos thrown on t-shirts. So have a logo made. Put it on your t-shirts. Put it on your business cards. Put it on your website. You can go to vistaprint.com and get some really great little, uh, business cards there for free. I think you pay the shipping, that type of thing. So there are some different ways to get branded. You just want people to see you at your website, see you in person, see your business card, and say, oh yeah, those guys. That's what you're trying to do. You're supposed to make, you're trying to make an impression where somebody sees it, they remember who you are. So that's a little bit about branding your real estate investor business, uh, using logos, using t-shirts, using business cards, using a website. People will remember you, they'll come off more professional and hopefully make some more money. This is Nick from realestateinvestoronline.com. Don't forget we've got a great mastermind you should check out www.realestateinvestoronline.com forward slash M mind mastermind. I'm um, not mastermind, M mind. Real estate investor online.com forward slash M mind, M M I N D. Check it out. We meet live three times a month. You'll learn, you'll make more money. Now go make an offer. This is Nick Safoni from Real Estate Investor Online. Thanks for watching. Go brand your company.